Welcome back to Newsmakers. Jane Ann Bugged along with Andy Mahalsik, and today we are talking about the library and encouraging you to support a public library in your community. And one of the big challenges that libraries face, and um, especially in our region, in Luzerne County, is that we do not have a library tax. So ta let's talk a little bit about the difficulties in funding. How difficult is it to fund a library system? Well, <laughs> <laughs> where do you begin? Eyes are rolling yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, we did talk to our executive director to sort of get the line on this sort of thing, and um, he said that. Um, funds are appropriated through Luzerne County that go out to all of the libraries in our county. There's 10 libraries um, and then some of those libraries have branches. Um, so that's one way. Um, we do receive state aid because we are a public facility. Um, and then um, what we really rely on is fundraising, um, donations, and endowments. And there's a lot of ways to participate in that. Um, then individually the libraries usually hold their own fundraisers. Um, we have, the Oosterhout has um, a gala every year and then our other big thing that's coming up sooner is um, in June are the Friends of the Library hold a book sale. And we and have some runs, video of the book yeah, sale. Mm -hmm. It runs a week long from uh, June 20th to June 27th. Um, there's a big tent, um, go on in and shop. Um, and then aside from that, we actually hold a smaller sale year-round um, with the friends. Uh, we have a bookshelf within the library. Um, and then from there, uh, the other libraries do their own thing. <laughs> we also have uh, book memorials and honorariums. So on a small scale, you can buy a book in honor or in memory of someone, and that helps a lot also. And I think that's very nice to honor someone's memory mm -hmm. or an anniversary with mm -hmm. a book at yes. your library. And when that happens, we also put a um, book plate on the inside of the book. So that will always stay in our library and people will be able to see that that book was purchased for that person or and people. I've got to ask this question because our station is very close to uh, the Oosterhout Library. We're right across the street. Where do you get these books from to be on sale? You have a lot of books in there. Yeah. So where do you get these books from? I would say at least once a day we take a call. Do you all accept books? <laughs> I have books that I want to donate to the library and they come from everywhere. People are doing spring cleaning, people are moving. Um, so we're constantly receiving books um, and we always say the same thing. The only two things we don't take is we don't take magazines and we don't take textbooks. But if it's anything else at all, we will take it. And honestly, sometimes those things get added into the collection, depending on what it is, depending on what shape it's in, if it's something that we really could use. Um, otherwise, it goes directly to our book sale, and it's still helping the library. And, and you also accept like, if someone has, like, say, a collection of books that they've mm -hmm. had in their mm -hmm. family, that is something that mm -hmm. someone can also mm -hmm. think of yep. donating to the library. How important is the role of the Friends of the Library? Well, wow. again, I would yeah. say very, yeah. <laughs> yeah, very. <laughs> because they run one of the two biggest fundraisers that we um, have throughout the year. Um, and like I said, they're continuously loading um, the uh, shelf that we have in the library. So even though their book sale is just once a year, the big book sale, um, throughout the year they're there sorting the library, the books, the donations, um, making sure that we have things to sell within the library. So and they're we truly all have our friends. Wish lists. Oh, I was going to ask that. We have yeah. a wish list <laughs> yeah. that, that the friends of the library help us fill. So you know, if they ha they have their big book sale and they make thousands of dollars, and then we all say maybe it's a new printer, maybe it's a new chair, something that you know w that is just not in the budget, and the friends help us with that. What's on top of your wish list mm -hmm. right now, if you can oh. say? A 3D yeah. printer. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. I just heard about this <laughs> yes. today in libraries. So. We, we'd love to have a maker space uh, set aside where you know you can do 3D printing, maybe even video production, all types mm -hmm. of things that could be open to the public. But, of course, that takes funding and um, you know, <laughs> special funds for things, something like that. If somebody's out there watching right now and said, you know what, I, I want to help out, and you, you mentioned the endowments, mm -hmm. memorials, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, can they make a donation? I, I'm assuming it's tax deductible, that kind of thing? Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. And um, they can go to the website or they can just come into the library. We have um, some different brochures, um, depending on what you're interested in doing. We have um, a planned giving, 
Um, this is if you want to actually join the friends. Um, and then this would be our memorials that we had talked about before. So we have all kinds of information like this. Um, again, you can find it on the website, and you can, um, or you just stop by. You can pick this up. Uh, you can talk to one of the staff members, and we'd be happy to explain it. And again, I have the information posted for you all on our website, pahomepage.com, or under the Newsmakers link. I do also want to, you know, mention that, you know, we were talking about a lot of the programs we're showing now. Some of the visitors to the library. <laughs> you have. The, uh, the, the penguins stop by, you have ballerinas stopping by. So, you know, like we said before, we wanted to stress that uh, the library is just isn't books anymore. It's so many other programs. Are there any programs you want to talk about and stress for people that may not know about? I know you mentioned for senior citizens. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Something for every age group. Let's talk a little bit about some of those programs that you might have that somebody may not realize that that they can find that out there at the library. Well, starting with the youngest, as I mentioned before, we start with infants. So we have story times for different age groups. But then we try to run programs throughout the year for school-age children as well. And um, we just recently, about two weeks ago, had a robot making program where they made mini robots, which we then had robot races. So we try to plan things that will appeal to maybe slightly older children as well as the younger ones. Um, the summer is a big time for programming throughout the library um, in, in our children's department. Yes, our theme for this summer, and actually, I should say, it's not just our theme. It's every hero has a story. But this is a, not only a statewide theme. Any library you go to in Pennsylvania, you'll see these pictures and you'll see information. Um, but it's also a nationwide theme. Every state in, in the country is doing every hero has a story throughout the summer. And our programs will deal with heroes of various types, um, be it superheroes that wear capes and fly or whatever, but also uh, military heroes, um, policemen, firemen, and even animal heroes. So we're going to have programs um, designed around that hero theme so all summer long and something for everyone. So there's also summer reading um, programs for teens, but you may not know that, that we have an adult summer reading program. Oh, okay. And it's called Escape the Ordinary. So we keep adults reading all summer long, and not just reading, but we all, we'll also have, like we might have a comic book fair or something like that tied to that theme. And that's very popular in the summer, and the adults have a lot of fun with it. Um, we also do, we talked about programs um, that we do, we do for adults, but every Friday, we have, every Friday afternoon, we have a movie. And now we're doing a Civil War series. So there's going to be a program in every library in the month of May and June. And also, if you're trying to decide what to read, you also do staff picks. Mm -hmm. yep. So mm -hmm. you have that. Now, how about for senior citizens, older people, older folks? Well, I know you, um, we just had a um, uh, program on Egyptology, and then like Elaine mentioned, the Civil War programs coming up. And those are the kinds of things that the seniors seem to really be interested in. And honestly, most of the time when we play the movies, you know, they're, they're geared to a, to a crowd for anybody, but because we play them in the afternoon, um, a lot of times the people that are able to come in and see them are the, are the seniors because other people are still working or at school. And you mentioned before, the summertime is big kid time. So if parents are out there, you know, parents are always looking for to keep their kids active and basically keep the brain going. Mm -hmm. So that's a place to come. Absolutely. If you have right. it, check it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I mean, there are statistics on what they call the summer slide where children that don't read over the summer um, start to lose, you know, some of those skills. And it's just like anything else. You have to exercise to improve your skills, and it, it includes reading. So we try to make reading fun. Um, they can read whatever. We give prizes every week. They get a new prize. We have one major um, program throughout the entire library system uh, that we cooperate with all the libraries and have one big event somewhere. Uh, we've had Franklin Institute come in, do shows. We've had other types of shows for children. So There is certainly a lot going on interested. in our libraries. Um, just, we have about a minute and a half left. What do you think the future holds for the library system? I think that's a hard question. I think if 125 years ago, if you'd ask them what it, it holds, they would, they would never have any idea that of what we have today, you know. But, um, but I think we'll be, be around in the future. Mm -hmm. I'm Absolutely. hoping, certainly. We'll right. be you growing know. bigger and better. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. right. And information is always out there, and it needs to be retrieved. 
And people need to know that the library is open. We have the library hours on our website at pahomepage.com. We have information about our guests today. Um, and we have information about the summer programs coming up. And everything you need to know about the library will be found on our website, and we'll direct you to them. And ladies, thank you so much. What a wealth of uh, knowledge you brought to us today and, 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 and telling us about today's library. And we love the pins. Yeah, we do love the <laughs> pins. Read. <laughs> so we encourage everyone out there to support your local library. For Andy Mahalshik and everyone behind the scenes, I'm Jane Ann Bugda. We want to thank you for making Newsmakers part of your day. Check us out on pahomepage.com, and don't forget, support your local library.